Hey everyone, so today I decided to experiment with red eyeshadow. Pretty scary, but I like how it turned out. So first of all, you're going to start by priming your skin and using a little bit of eye cream just to hydrate your face. To prevent your eyes looking irritated from the red eyeshadow, I suggest doing a very full coverage foundation look. So I'm using my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation with a flat top EXO Beauty brush. I'm also just going to go over any spots that need a bit more coverage with a concealer um, just to prevent cakiness. I don't want to put on too much foundation so a concealer works better. And then I'm going to go in with an under eye concealer as well just to brighten up my eyes and make sure I've got no dark circles for the red eyeshadow since it is going to make your eyes stand out so much. Remember to pat your concealer on under your eyes. I know it looks like I'm really harsh and fast motion, but really you just want to tap your finger up and down so it's really gentle and you don't create any like tension underneath your eyes. It's very sensitive. And then I'm going to go in with a face powder and I'm just going to set everything so it lasts all day long. Once you've primed your eyelids, feel free to go in with your highlight shade and I'm just using this one from the Lorac Unzipped Palette and I'm putting that on my brow bone. And then after this you just want to follow up with your eyebrow routine. Now I'm going in with my red eyeshadow and wow, that is pigmented. So I'm going to take that on a blending brush and lightly apply just a small amount all over the lid and blend that into the crease. And then I'm just going to slowly build up that colour until it's the kind of desired intensity that I'm going for. Once you have your desired shape, you can go in with a clean blending brush and just buff out those edges so it looks really seamless. You don't want any harsh lines, especially with this look, because it is so intense. Once it's blended out, you'll notice it gets a little bit lighter, so I'm just adding a little bit more red and continuing to blend it out. Just make sure you keep blending, don't apply too much at once. Now I'm taking this MAC eyeshadow and applying this all over the lid just to make it way more intense. It's kind of like an orangey red, so it looks really, really nice on top of the other red just to give it some more vibrance. Now I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm taking that red eyeshadow and smudging it underneath my lash line. Then I'm also going to take that brick red and an orange and just add the red first and then I'm going to add the orange on the inner kind of corner and then I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and just blend all of that together so it looks less harsh. Now I'm taking the Sparkly Makeup Geek Pigment and I'm putting this on the inner corner and that's just going to brighten up the look and make my eyes look a bit more wide awake and then I'm going to add a matte white eyeshadow on top of that just to brighten it up even more because it wasn't bright enough for me. To bring the entire look together I'm taking a red tone brown and I'm just applying this with this tiny little EXO Beauty blending brush to my outer V. This is just going to tone down the look a tiny bit and bring it all together and give the eyes some more dimension. Take your favourite black pencil eyeliner and rub this into your waterline and upper tight line. I'm just using my finger to smudge that into my lashes as well. And the black eyeliner really helps to separate the red from your eye so it doesn't look irritated. Next I'm going to take a bronzer just to liven up my face a bit so I don't look too pale and sick. You really don't want a real pale looking face with this look because it will make you look, you know, very tired. Why I'm the only one. Thank you. 
I'm using this highlighter to add even more color and dimension to my face just so I look healthy and then I'm going to take a nude lipstick and apply this all over my lips and then I'm going to deepen it up with a red lip stain just to kind of kind of match the eyes and lips a little bit I don't know I really liked how it looked here of course you want to follow up with your favorite mascara I'm having a bit of a jam session right now um, but yeah just put tons and tons and tons of this on your eyelashes both the top and the bottom um, you can use false eyelashes you can use liquid eyeliner on the top everything looks good with this just make sure you have some darkness around the red just to separate the red and your eye color so you don't look sick And that's it. If you have blue eyes, you must try this. It'll make your eyes look amazing. Have a really great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I don't want to try on that. Not the side. Shit. Oh my god, did you see what I just did? This one here is red carpet red. Zeus! Zeus! Cut it out. And then lips, so, oh no, since I'm using